previously on It Takes Guts to be a Gutierrez. I'm going to do a tribute. I'm going to do something about your life. It's going to be your life story. <laughs> Surprise, Napa. <laughs> Surprise. How can that happen? They seem happy, you know? I mean, she doesn't really open up to us. I don't know if I'm prepared to see her in a sad state. I don't know how she's going to cope with this one. Lola, I've already finished the spying mission. So, do you think that her already broke up with uh, her boyfriend? There's something going on, very rocky. I hope. Where's the money? Later. Hello there! Oh my god, what are you guys eating? That's that all so fattening! you're not getting the money without me. What money? I told the girls to spy on you regarding your, you know, your love life. I told them that I'll give the money if they will tell me what's happening on you because it keeps Crying, you, know, you keep <sighs> thinking about, I don't know what you're thinking about, you know? Eh? Why are you guys spying on me? Did you collect money from Lola to spy on me? Well, mommy, well, I haven't collected the money yet. Because you don't even do anything. This is not funny. Stop spying on my love life. <laughs> Annoying. Zion, now that he's turning three, is showing a lot of his personalities already and what his interests are. He enjoys different kinds of sports, and one of them is uh, soccer. So Sarah and I decided to enroll him in a soccer camp. Sarah speaks French, and she grew up in uh, Europe. In Europe, soccer is the number one. Unlike the Philippines, it's basketball. So they encourage uh, Zion to play soccer. You play soccer? Yeah. Huh? You're, you're friends, oh? I make it the point that uh, after my golf game, instead of going home in White Plains and spend some time with him until he falls asleep. When he falls asleep, that's the time when I go home. to be like his daddy. It could be good for Zion to start football at a young age, for his footworks, and then eventually translate that into basketball. So that's my brilliant plan for Zion. So this was all planned out by me. Every time my dad would visit, he always comes from playing golf. And Zion being such a curious kid, every time my dad arrives at home, he looks for the golf clubs, the golf balls. So Zion and my dad have been spending a lot of time together. And now Zion is into golf, influenced by my dad. How was your soccer game today? Good? Yeah. Huh? Good. It's quite amusing to see Zion and my dad play golf together and have like a putting competition. Can I try? I tried to get into the little action and obviously Zion and my dad had a lot of practice so I was missing those putts. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Zion made it and my dad made it, so I was just cheering for them. Yay! <laughs> 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 That's 
that's how you do it. David is my son. He's 12 years old. He's growing real fast. He's into sports just like me. He looks just like me. And I love him with all my heart. Unfortunately, things didn't work out with me and his mom, but my love for him doesn't compromise to anything else. Ah, I used to dunk. Honestly, I've been dunked the ball in 10 years. You know? I just tried it out and I got it. I, I dunked the ball again, but he was not even looking at me. David, did you see my dunk? David, David. Stop Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. Let's play. You're always on your phone. People use this all the time. That's right. Because You're too Facebook old. is not everything. During my time, there was no Facebook and everything. You should be real, you know? Deal with people eye to eye. It's more fun. But I think kids these days are stubborn. It's my role as a father to teach him the right ways, but. It's hard to deal with kids these days. I can't even talk to you. I just dunked the ball and you ignored me. What's wrong with you? Come on, let's play one on one. Me and David had a bet. Whoever loses will jump in the pool. Okay. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on, David. Come on, David. <laughs> come on, David. Oh. Oh. Ah, you're jumping in the pool. I lost. Okay, maybe I let him win, but that's what fathers do. If there's one lesson you should learn from your dad, it's just always be aware. Aware of the people that try to hurt you, people that disrespect you, and people that push you in the swimming pool. Myself, everybody's busy, Annabelle is in Cebu, and I'm here all alone. I enjoy watching TV because TV is our world, especially if there's a basketball game, just like that. I, I'm happy that way. I was all alone and I was thinking, what do I get a woman who's got everything? You know, Annabelle, I'm so proud of you. I'm gonna do a tribute. I'm gonna do something about your life. A surprise, Napa. Surprise. So I researched, thinking of what to give her. The closet in our room is full of handbags. So handbags is out. Maybe something else. Shoes, she's got so many shoes. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't think of any material thing to give her, but I'm thinking of something. I was thinking of proposing marriage again to her for the second time. So I'll do some more research for this big occasion. I was in the kitchen and I was all alone and all of a sudden Venice pops out and after talking to Venice, I was thinking of Venice would like to give me some advice on my plan. I've been researching online today. I'm trying to <laughs> pick up something for Lola. How, did you do like a lot of time on this? Because it's really hard to find something for her. She's like, you know, I give her a microwave. We already have a microwave. I give her a toaster. We already have a toaster. I give her a... Potato? I'm pretty sure she has potatoes. Potato? <laughs> I'm having a hard time. She's got bags, she's got shoes, she's got clothes, she's got anything a, a woman likes. But you know, Venice, I think I found something that she'll enjoy having. What do you feel about Lola and your Lolo getting married again? Lolo? I can like, AKA butterflies in my stomach. It's so sweet. She was very happy. 
I think she wants to be a part of the big affair. I've got a problem because usually Annabelle is the one who fixes everything, but now it's my turn. But once she finds out that I have a plan and she knows about the plan, I'm sure she will take over all my plans and plan everything. Let's just keep it a secret until now, okay? Moita is supposed to make the kids a better person, not only physically, but mentally and emotionally. Today, uh, we're surprising a bunch of kids because for the past month, we had a summer program here in San Juan City, teaching kids different kinds of martial arts, jiu-jitsu, muay thai, boxing, and also we, we are teaching them cinematic fight choreography. A lot of them are very interested in uh, fight choreography for cinema and TV, and that's where I participate, that's where I come in, and I'm going to surprise them today. As a kid, what really got me away from trouble was uh, discipline in martial arts. So I want to uh, give back, give that back to the kids now, and hopefully they can be uh, an inspiration one day also. Ipagpatuloy niyo itong uh, ginagawa niyo ng training sa martial arts at uh, sa stunt choreography, sa fight choreography at balang araw, baka magsama-sama tayo sa set ng uh, susunod kong pelikula or TV show. So, maraming salamat sa inyo. My dad always told me that back in the days, their hands would hurt from signing autographs. Now it's the jaw that hurts from smiling from all the pictures. So it's really part of the job. <laughs> started this day with um, this program and then later it's gonna be Zion's third birthday. So for now I'm gonna go home, get some rest and get ready for Zion's birthday. So today is Zion's third birthday. I can't believe we're celebrating his third birthday. Time flies. I get a message from Ate Rufa saying that she might miss the party. And I can't believe this is actually happening again because I'm sorry, Ate, but she's always late. Venice? Yeah? Do you know what happened to your mom? What? She just missed her flight. She always does. Oh, I wasn't surprised at all. She's mommy. She's late mostly every time. The queen of being late. Wait, so she's not going to go to Zion? Uh, I guess. Where is she again? She's in Hong Kong. I'm going to message her. I don't know if she's going to be able to make it or book another flight. I'm just hoping that she will be there because Raymond is out of the country, so he's going to miss the party also. Can you... Call Elvis and Alexa and make sure they're coming, and Rocky and RP. Because I've got my family covered. Make sure the other side's coming. Okay. Thank you. I'm here ahead of Zion and Sarah because Zion is still sleeping. That's why I have to check the place, if it's okay, the food, and the, the kids who's coming here. I have to check everything. Face painting muna sila. So it's Zion's big day. We're all excited for his birthday. We all asked him what he wanted for his birthday, and he said a dinosaur 
theme birthday party. I told my mom to have a very relaxed party. We wanted it to be intimate and, you know, not too grand. And my mom said, okay, no problem. I'll, I'll take care of it. Sure enough, just like my mom is, the thing was extravagant. Put your hands together for our birthday celebrate together with Daddy Richard and Mommy Sarah. We have a Zion Gonzalez. party I was like whoa it was a big party and it looked like a lot of fun for the five-year-olds generally in kids birthday parties a lot of people who are really really young are invited however a lot of old people are invited as well so if you're somewhere in the middle like me and Venice for example it's a bit hard to find someone your age in an environment like that well, I mean, a science party, so we pretty much have no choice. I'm only here for the food. I'm not. And Lorraine, besides, he's our cousin. You have no choice to be here. I know, but, like, there's nothing to do. Lorraine, come on. Let's give science party a chance. It doesn't look that bad. But I'm sure it's going to be fun. Just... In that party, I wanted to tell Annabelle about my proposal. I was thinking of proposing marriage again to her for the second time. I was really busy and keeps whispering me that I need to talk to you, very important. Not now, Eduardo. No, 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 no. We have to finish the conversation now. Not now. It's a party going on, okay? It's Zion's birthday party, okay? I'm not interested, Eduardo, because I'm so busy. You know, after the party, you can talk to me. Not now. That was it. I said I won't talk to her anymore about the proposal that I was thinking of. I feel like a behind the scenes guy, you know? Because I can be here for them, support them from uh, with whatever they're doing. And that's my role, support them with whatever. I guess I'm still lacking with the acting career. Once I get on there, um, I guess that's, uh, that's gonna sell the difference there. I'm the youngest, but I'm sure uh, someday, or maybe this year, I can catch up with everything that, that I'm doing. Close your eyes and make a wish. Yeah. Oh. I saw Sion, he was so happy, you know. This is the first time that Naramdaman yung birthday because I saw Zion dancing, singing, you know. Zion's parents are both in the entertainment industry, so honestly, I am not surprised that he is so confident and so out there, especially with his singing and his dancing. Yeah, Zion loves to sing. I think he's going to be a musician. Zion got it from me and from Sarah. People can all agree that Zion looks like me, and Chard would never accept that. But I think personality-wise, as early as now, we can see that he's curious about bikes and sports, and I think he obviously got that from Richard. It's very natural for Zion. Made me very proud of Zion, you know. That's my kid, and he can, he can sing, I think. Everything is going smoothly and everybody's having fun, but I noticed that Tita Annabelle is not okay. It might have to do with Aterufa missing her flight. 
During the party, I received a text from Rufa, and she said she missed her flight. That's why I was really, really mad because, you know, it's Sion's birthday, and she was not there. So uh, I called her. Siempre galit ako. That's the time, again, we fight. She didn't answer the phone. That's why I was really mad to her. Back in the day, I used to travel because of holidays. But now I'm traveling a lot due to work. It's the second flight that I've missed the last two months, but it was not intentional. Sagutin mong phone mo, bruha ka. Ganun ka na lagi. Pag nagbiyahe ka, lagi ka na lang delayed ng flight. Ang dami mong reason. Ngayon, miss your flight na naman. Akaya ka, Richard. Birthday ni Zion. Receiving this message from my mom just made things worse. What happened to you, Rufa? Answer your phone. Visit ka. I know it's my fault, and I know next time I'm going to be early in the airport, but I don't deserve this message. That's another gimmick, Rufa. After the party, that's the only time Richard and I get to actually sit down and have a proper meal. What an awesome day. And Zion still, look, he's still at it. Everyone had fun. Yeah. Time really flies, no? Yeah. Now Jenny's already three. I know. Can we rewind? I know. We have to take it slow. Suddenly, a quite sensitive topic comes up. I was playing basketball with Zion in uh, Alonso a while ago. And I was thinking that it was, maybe it would be nice if Zion would have a, a sibling. Coming up in the next episode of It Takes Guts to Be a Gutierrez. Something happened with Rufa. And then... <sighs> she was dead for three minutes. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Ate! Ate, stop filming! Ate, call the driver! Call the... Lorene, call the... Call the driver, we're going to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs>